11 Houston, uh, the uh, uh, definition is uh, pretty good on our monitor here. The color is not too uh, varsity, at, at least on this set. Uh, could you describe what you're uh, looking at, over? Uh, Drew, you're seeing Earth as uh, we see it uh, at our left hand window. It's a little more than a half Earth. Uh, we're looking at uh, the eastern Pacific Ocean and the north half of the top half of the screen uh, we can see uh, North America, Alaska, United States, Canada, Mexico, and Central America. South America becomes invisible just off beyond the Terminator or inside the shadow. You can see uh, the oceans with uh, a definite blue cast. See white bands of major cloud formations across the Earth. And you can see coastlines that got uh, the western U.S., San Joaquin Valley, the Sierra Mountain Range, the peninsula of Baja, California, and you can see some cloud formations over uh, southeastern U.S. There's one uh, definite uh, mild storm southwest of Alaska. It looks like about uh, 500 to 1,000 miles. And another uh, very minor storm showing uh, the south end of the screen near the... Uh, oh, a long way south of the equator, probably uh, 45 degrees or more south latitude. Pick out uh, the ground, the browns uh, in the landforms pretty well. The greens do not show up very well. Uh, some green showing uh, along the uh, northeastern, northwestern coast of the United States and uh, northwestern coast of Canada. Hey, uh, world, hold on to your hat. I'm going to turn you upside down. Uh, 11, that's a pretty good roll there. Uh, that's pretty sloppy, sorry. Let me try that one again. You'll never beat out the Thunderbirds. I'm making myself seasick on it, Charlie. I'll just put you back right side up where you belong. Roger. Uh, 11, uh, Houston, uh, if you could uh, comply, we'd uh, like to see uh, some smiling faces up there. If you could give us some interior views, I'm sure everybody would like to uh, see you over. Okay, we'll uh, reconfigure the TV for that. Roger. That's big Mike Collins there. Well, you got a little bit of... Yeah, hello there, sports fans. You got a little bit of me, plus Neil's in the center couch, and Buzz is doing the camera work this time. Uh, Roger. Well, I put on a coat and tie if I'd known about this ahead of time. Is uh, Buzz holding your cue cards for you over? Cue cards have a no. We have, we have no intention of competing with the professionals, believe me. We are very comfortable up here, though. We do have a happy home. Uh, there's plenty of room for the three of us, and... Uh, I think uh, we're all learning to find our favorite little corner to uh, to sit in. The zero G is very comfortable, but uh, after a while you get to the point where you sort of get tired of rattling around and banging off the ceiling and the floor and the side, so you, uh, you tend to find a little corner somewhere and put your knees up or something like that to wedge yourself in, and that seems more at home. Houston, Roger. Slowly sinking into the sack there. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Forgot to give Buzzy Spice right back.
Apollo 11, Houston, uh, could you give the folks a, a view of your uh, patch if uh, uh, on your CWG is over? Yeah, yeah. Stand by, Winter. I'm going to try to give you a close up. All oh, right. Uh, 11, uh, Houston, uh, we have the patch. Uh, could you attempt to prove the focus slightly over? Uh, 11, Houston, the scan on the, the camera uh, makes the... Uh, uh, that's a little bit better now. The uh, flashlight seems to flicker uh, due to the scan on the uh, TV. We can see the eagle. Uh, now that's a, a little bit better. Over. Could you open the f-stop uh, a little bit more? Over. Yeah, we're, it's open all the way. We're going to have to move buzz around a little bit. Roger. Houston, uh, the color is uh, better now. It's coming in. Uh, we could uh, attempt a little bit better focus on it. Uh, uh, there we go. Our focus is uh, a lot better now. We see the eagle uh, coming right in on the lunar surface. Over. Uh, that's very good now. Houston, that's very good now. We can see the Earth in the background, Apollo 11, and the Eagle coming in. Probably pretty hard to see the olive branch, isn't it? Uh, Roger, it is. Well, that's what he has in his talons, is an olive branch. Copy. Houston, uh, we're really impressed with the clarity and the detail that we have in the picture. The, the colors are, uh, now it's a really an excellent picture now that I'm looking out on our monitor, which is about 12 seconds before the uh, networks uh, can uh, get it out due to the uh, conversion that we have here on our TV converter. The, uh, we're looking at the uh, uh, controls and display, the main display console, and we can see the uh, disk uh, up on the, the panel. Over. I think it is. 
Over. Yeah, might as well uh, tell the ECOM or tell the GNC and everybody to hold out their hat and I'll push the enter button. Right. That's, we see a real display now. That's a good demonstration of how our crew has the interface with the computer talking to the uh, programs and all that we have in the computer. Well, that's right, Charlie. Sometimes it tells us things, and sometimes we tell it things, and mostly it talks to us. Eleven Houston, Houston. We just lost our pick. I see we're going back outside now. Over. Eleven Houston, you copy? Over. Right, do we copy? And. Uh This is Apollo Control. That uh, TV transmission uh, lasted about uh, 35 minutes. Houston, over. Go ahead, Houston, Apollo 11. 
Uh, Roger, Buzz. Uh, the attitude that we're in right now is a convenient one to start PTC in. We'd be satisfied with this attitude. So we'd like you to disable quads, Charlie and Delta, and we'll wait about five to ten minutes, and then we'll establish the PTC over. Roger, disable Charlie and Delta, and we'll wait uh, before starting PTC. Roger. This is Apollo Control at uh, 34 hours, 46 minutes. Apollo 11 is presently 131,000 nautical miles from Earth, traveling at a speed of about 4,300 feet per second. During the uh, TV transmission, the crew advised that uh, they may possibly be able to take the color television camera into the lunar module with them tomorrow at about 56 hours, 30 minutes ground elapsed time. Uh, they reported that the cables had been checked and appeared to be long enough to uh, take them into the uh, lunar module. Uh, during the next hour or so, the uh, activity here in Mission Control will be uh, revolving around getting the crew set up for their rest period and eat period. Uh, this will be a very long rest period tonight, scheduled 10 hours. And that uh, will begin, uh, according to the flight plan, at about 37 hours ground elapsed time. Uh, however, we would anticipate if uh, activities move along as they appear to be at this point, we are somewhat ahead of the flight plan, that uh, perhaps again tonight we would be able to get the crew into their rest period and uh, sleep period a little bit early. At uh, 34 hours, 48 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 35 hours, 13 minutes. Uh, Apollo 11 is presently about 93,265 nautical miles from the moon. And uh, with respect to the moon, it's traveling at a speed of about 4,000 uh, 19 feet per second. At this time we are receiving the uh, tape playback which Goldstone, the tracking site at Goldstone, California received uh, from the spacecraft uh, in that earlier unscheduled TV transmission. Uh, this was a uh, a test of the system using the spacecraft Omni antennas the small omnidirectional antennas. Uh, normally transmissions uh, from this distance in space would be uh, would require the high gain antenna. Uh, this uh, television transmission is being processed uh, and converted to color and we anticipate that we'll have it available for playback at about 9 p.m. Uh, we are in conversation with the spacecraft at uh, this time. We'll pick up the tape-recorded conversation that we, ha we have and then uh, stand by to follow any live conversation. Houston, uh, would you uh, take in uh, what you requested? Uh, Roger, 11. We'd like you to go uh, back to Attitude Hole. Over. Uh, 11, Houston. Looks like we're going to have to reinitialize uh, re this... Uh, PTC. Right. Okay, do you have any uh, roll angle that you'd like to stop it in, uh, Charlie? I haven't stopped it yet. Stand by. Uh, 11, Houston, it's uh, your preference uh, right now if you want to. Over. Okay. Apollo 11, Houston, over. Houston, Apollo 11. Uh, Roger, 11. The problem on that uh, initial starting up the PTC was we failed to do the verb 49, which uh, and load the desired initial attitude. Uh, so the staff tried to take it back to the old attitude that uh, we had.
started up in a number of hours to go. That's why we picked up the rates in the other axes. Uh, we're going to wait in this attitude for about 20 minutes to damp out the rates again. And then we'll proceed with the uh, VERB 49 and, the lo and load our attitude that we have at, the time, at this time over. Okay, it sounds good, Charlie. When you get to uh, the VERB 49, uh, I'd like for you to give me the three gimbal angle that you want loaded. Uh, Roger, we will do. Over. Thank you. And Apollo 11, Houston, we have your flyby pad if you're ready to copy over. Stand by one. Hi, Houston, Apollo 11. Is that P-30 pad? That's affirmative, over. Okay, ready to copy. Hi, right, Buzz. It's flyby is the purpose. STS GNN six two eight one five plus zero niner seven minus zero two zero zero seven zero five four. Five niner four four minus zero 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 two eight plus zero 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 two three plus zero 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 six niner zero two niner one Four niner three one two Apache is in a plus zero zero two two one zero 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 seven eight zero zero one zero 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 three four Sextant star zero one two one eight five two two seven foresight star is in a in a in a latitude is minus zero two six five minus one six five Zero zero one one eight nine or nine or three six two two eight one four four five six four seven in the comments your set stars are Denub and Vega zero zero seven one four four zero six eight. No knowledge. It's a docked burn using the PTC rest mat. Stand by for your read back over. Okay, would you give me the GET of uh, point oh five G again, please? Uh, Roger. One four four five six four seven. Over. Roger, fly by SPS GNN 6281 plus 0090 minus 0200 plus 0002A plus 0002A plus 0002A plus 0002A plus 00221 00078 001 00034 01 21852277 NA minus 0265 minus 
Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. McDonald's got the lasers turned on. Would you take a look? Over. Okay, Charlie. It's bluish green. Eleven Houston, we got some shaft and trunnion for you that might uh, tweak it up a little bit. Uh, shaft of one four one point five, trunnion of three nine or point five over. Okay, stand by. Apollo eleven Houston, if you see it, it should be coming up. Appear to be coming up through the clouds. Uh, McDonald reports that there's a break in the clouds that they're beaming this thing through, over. Roger. Oh, Apollo 11, Houston, you can terminate the exercise on the laser. Our rates are steady enough now for it to commence the PTC, over. Okay, Houston, uh, neither Neil nor Mike can see it. Uh, incidentally, those shafts and trunnions, uh, uh, just missed pointing at the world. Roger, thank you. As, as we uh, are looking at it through the uh, scanning telescope, it would be about a, oh, maybe a third of an Earth uh, radii high into the left. Roger. But we did, but we did identify the El Paso area and it appeared to us to be a break in the clouds there, and we looked in that break and saw nothing. Roger, thank you much, Al. Houston, Apollo 11, over. Roger, go ahead, over. Were you following that on the disc game? Roger, stand by. Eleven, Houston. Uh, what's your exact question? Over. Well, I followed the procedure uh, through step seven down to the point where I got twenty-seven three hundred three enter, and this resulted in an operator air light. All right, stand by. Apollo 11, Houston, stand by a moment. We'll have an answer for you momentarily. Over. Okay, appreciate it, Charlie. Now the light's gone out without any further disky action. Roger. Ah, uh, correction. Stand by. That's not so. Roger. Apollo 11, Houston. Houston, Apollo 11. Roger, we finally got concurrence on uh, our problem here and with 50 guys looking at it. Uh, when we uh, were sitting in the 5018, we attempted to load the erasable before you terminated the VERP 49. So, Mike, what we're going to have to do is call up the present CDUs, copy those down, then do a VERT 49, load the present, then do a proceed, then an enter, and then we can uh, then set up attitude hole on step six. Over. Okay. I think that's what we did last time. It, it appears.
clear to us that we attempted to load the erasable prior to entering on the uh, the Verb 49, which uh, Verb 49 was uh, still running and it clobbered the uh, CDUs over. Okay. Eleven Houston, it looks great to us now. Over. Yeah, it looks fine here, Charlie. The uh, seven tenths part, the only part I uh, uh, don't find explained yet. Uh, Roger, Mike. We're working on that one right now. We're coming up with a story soon. Over. Thank you. Houston, we're handing over Tom to uh, Ghost, a correction from Goldstone to Honeysuckle, over. Okay. Houston, go ahead, over. Hey, son, good dust, sir, honey, sir. How are we, sir? Right here, bye-bye, Mike. We'd like the Omni configuration as follows. Omni Alpha placed in Bravo. Omni to Omni. High gain track to manual. High gain, y'all, to... Seven zero. Dead. This is Apollo Control. At the present time, we are handing over from the tracking site at Goldstone, California, to the uh, site at Honeysuckle, uh, which accounts for the uh, noise in the transmission. I've got uh, F band Omni B, Omni, uh, track to manual, and uh, BY. Uh, pitch, uh, you better say that again, y'all, 270, over. Roger, Buzz. I broke up that uh, pitch minus five zero and beam wide. Over. Roger, copy.
numbers on status report, etc. Say again, over. Roger, are you ready to copy some numbers on uh, two status reports, etc.? Roger, go ahead, over. Okay, radiation CDR 11005. Nancy 10006, LMC 09007, medication negative, and I got some battery and uh, oxygen number three. Go ahead, over. Battery C, 37.1, pyro battery A and B, both 37.1, RCS Alpha A2, Bravo A4, Coca, 85 Delta 87 over. Roger, we copy radiation 11005 10006 uh, 09 007. No medication. 37.1 over. That's permanent. Anyway, uh, left GM Delta is 1.1.
This is Apollo Control at uh, 36 hours, 11 minutes. The present time Apollo 11 is about 134,000 nautical miles from Earth. The velocity is 4,216 feet per second. During that last series of transmissions from the crew, uh, we received a status report from Buzz Aldrin. Uh, he reported that uh, the crew has, uh, in the past 24 hours, taken no, medi no medication. Uh, this is uh, similar to the crew status report that we received from them last night. Uh, we bid them good night at uh, 36 hours, 9 minutes, or about 2 minutes ago. Uh, we anticipate that uh, the crew will uh, probably have a few more housekeeping type chores aboard the spacecraft before they actually turn in uh, and also we will probably be uh, combining their eat period uh, with the first part of that sleep period at 36 hours 12 minutes into the flight of Apollo 11 this is Mission Control Houston This is Apollo Control at 36 hours, 27 minutes. We have completed the processing of the unscheduled television transmission which the crew uh, sent down from the spacecraft at about 30 hours, 24 minutes ground elapsed time this evening. Uh, I would like to repeat that this uh, was an apparent test of the uh, onboard system. Uh, the crew turned the television equipment on, left it on for about 52 minutes. Uh, some of the time we will have a picture, other parts of it we don't have good lock on and uh, will not have a good solid picture. We should also point out that uh, this transmission was made with the omnidirectional antennas, which of course don't provide nearly the signal strength that we would get from the high gain antenna, uh, which would be used. And we'll uh, play back the uh, tape of that transmission for you at this time.
Okay, I'm showing them a disky, and I'd like to know whether they can read uh, what's showing on the disky, and also whether they can see uh, P R O G B E R B and N O U N. Over. All right, stand by a second. Goldstone, M N O, Houston, Capcom, over. Capcom, Goldstone, go ahead. All uh, right, did you copy the uh, spacecraft request? Uh, that's affirmative. I am reading the numbers on our monitor here. Okay, that's uh, Demo. Right, that's both the uh, the numbers on the disk itself and the uh, little words like uh, program, uh, verb, noun, computer activity, things of the sort. Uh, Roger, I can read the numbers uh, clearly. Uh, we can't distinguish what the words are because it is a little snowy. Uh, Roger. Thank you. Okay, I read verb, noun, and program. Uh, Roger, uh, do you see uh, over in the left-hand corner there's a big square one that says computer activity, comp activity? Uh, Roger, I see a flash occasionally in that area. Right, that's the one. Okay, it looks like he's moved the camera at this time. Roger. Uh, 11, this is Houston. Goldstone MNO uh, reports that they can read the numbers on the disky. Uh, they can also read the verb, noun, program, and uh, see the compactivity light flashing. Over. Very good, thank you. And they also report that you appear to have uh, panned the camera over to another location now. Yeah, we're going to work on something else. All right. And we seem to have a fairly good view here of the uh, interior of the command module. This would look to be the uh, panel, the dis display panel with some of the uh, fuel quantity dials on the right side of the cockpit. At the time these... Uh, television pictures were transmitted from the spacecraft. Apollo 11 was about 121,000 nautical miles from Earth. Where we do have uh, good signal lock-on, we got amazingly good quality from those little omni antennas. As we've mentioned before, normally the high-gain antenna would be used for a television transmission of this sort. And we could almost make out a face in that one. And somebody's hand uh, down at the instrument panel. That last view just before we lost uh, picture lockup uh, appeared to be the right center portion of the main display console, main display panel in the command module. Uh, for a brief moment there we had a picture of a somewhat placid uh, Neil Armstrong closing his eyes momentarily. Uh, another crewman to his left, I'm not sure at this point that I can make out who it was, it did appear, uh, it might have been Mike Collins. Yes, the power left. Go ahead, 11. Hello, Charlie. Is that you? Uh, that's me. How are you there? Oh, just fine. How's the old white team today? Uh, the old white team's uh, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Uh, we're ever alert down here. Ever alert in Redland. Hey, you got any uh, medics down there watching heart rate? I'm uh, trying to do some running in place down here, and I'm wondering, just out of curiosity, whether they break my heart rate up. Uh, well, they will spring into action here momentarily. Stand by. Well, that was Mike Collins commenting that he was doing some running in place exercises, and we may get a brief view of that a little later on in this... Uh, transmission if the picture stabilizes and holds still for us. Hello, 11. Uh, we see your heart beating. Okay, well, look at, look at the CDR and the CMB and the go up anywhere. I'll run this place. I'm sure you wouldn't believe it. I'd like to see that site. Why don't you give us a TV picture of that one? I think that's great. Got it. Okay, it's coming in a go phone, Buzz. Uh, I guess Bruce said uh, we don't have it here in the center. Uh, Ready? 
Roger, understand. They do seem to distort vertical lines, though. Uh, say again about the vertical lines, Buzz. Roger, when there's a vertical line, uh, these horizontal uh, bands tend to uh, put small waves in it. Uh, Roger, I copy. He didn't mention that. Uh, stand by, I'll check again. Hello, 11 Houston. The Goldstone TV said that uh, when you get a sharp vertical line on a picture uh, where the horizontal banding goes across, it does appear to bend it slightly. It's the same as uh, Apollo 10, they said. Looks okay to them, over. Okay, I understand. It's not our monitor. It must be the transmitter. All right, I guess so, uh, but we'll have them look into it and see if they can suggest anything.
Houston, uh, please select uh, Omni Bravo on board, over. Take on the Bravo, Johnny. Right. How's everything going down there? You guys happy with spacecraft systems? Roger, affirmative. Everything's looking uh, really good to us, over. Okay, same here. is Apollo Control. Uh, that concludes the uh, replay of the test transmission from Apollo 11. Uh, that transmission uh, occurred about two hours prior to the regularly uh, scheduled TV transmission this evening. Uh, the crew apparently testing out the onboard system. Uh, we received about uh, 52 minutes of uh, intermittent television using the spacecraft omnidirectional antennas. And as you can see, it's particularly near the end. Uh, this is just appears to be just about the limit of television reception from the Omni antennas. At the time of the uh, transmission, Apollo 11 was about 121,000 nautical miles from Earth. 
during the replay of that uh, television transmission, uh, we accumulated a very short amount of tape, uh, one or two brief uh, comments from the crew uh, who are in their sleep period at this time. Uh, we'll play back that uh, tape conversation for you now. This time, Apollo 11 is uh, 137,219 nautical miles from Earth. Uh, the spacecraft is traveling at a speed of 4,132 feet per second. Uh, here in Mission Control, uh, things have settled down into a rather quiet nighttime routine. Uh, we said good night to the crew at about 36 hours, uh, 36 hours, 9 minutes to be exact, uh, a little over an hour ago. We did hear from them uh, once or twice uh, since then. And we anticipate that uh, at this time they are probably uh, getting settled down to begin their 10-hour sleep period. At uh, 37 hours, 21 minutes, this is Apollo Control. <laughs> 